Welcome to RCTV UK. Tonight I'm very lucky to have Pal Mallow with me. Uh, Pal is the uh, designer and manufacturer of a new type of multi rotor in the commercial sense um, with tilting motors. So, Pal, how are you doing? Yeah, thanks. Good, good, good. Very good. Hopefully I didn't mull your name too badly. I pronounced it okay at the beginning there. Very well, actually. Yeah. I'm surprised. <laughs> I'm glad about that. So, um, Pal, why don't you tell us a little bit about this? You're the first person to bring this type of multi-rotor to the commercial market, as I understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is uh, one of the improvements that uh, we were we detected uh, yeah, some months ago that would benefit uh, the, the performance of, uh, of mini quads and um, yeah as far as we knew uh, no one did it uh, brought it to the market so we decided to do it so did uh, I understand that it's um, it's controlled through clean flight the um, the fork of base flight by Don Dominic Clifton have you mm -hmm. had to work closely with Dom Dominic or his developing team yeah, yeah, yeah. He, wants to be, he has been very supportive from the very beginning, and um, I mean we have done the most of the job obviously because uh, they have uh, a lot of other things to do as well. Yeah. But we have exchanging emails, and he was uh, I mean actually he's uh, he's gonna get the uh, tilt uh, yeah wow. can send send one to him. So Sorry, he not... he wanted to have one yeah. Sorry about my dog barking there. Yeah, say hi from me for me. Hello, dog. <laughs> Lucy, shh, come here, babe. I do apologise, butting in on the uh, the interview there. So um, it'd be great if Dominic does get his hands on one because I'm going to be doing an interview with Dominic in the not too distant future. Um, I've asked if Dominic doesn't mind me following uh, the um, the expansion and the development ongoing of his new flight controller the the sp pro is it uh, the new SP flight uh, racing yeah yeah the pro racing come here baby so um yeah so that'd be great i mean if he gets his hands on one i'll be able to get a look at it and hopefully i can get his thoughts on it you know see what he thinks about it so um i guess for those people for those of you that haven't seen it we better show pals trailer i'm guessing you had some fun making this yeah yeah it was a lot of fun but it was super windy so i had to fly relatively far away from the from the car actually yeah. in the first trial uh, try uh, i almost uh, went to the, into the car so we said yeah Oops. we have to fly it far away yeah I could see that there was a load of wind you can see in some of the bits of the video there how windy it was um, Lamborghini, was it a Murcielago or a Galago? Uh, sorry, okay. which Lamborghini was it? Ah, uh, um, uh, forgot actually. Murcielago or Galago, uh, I'm guessing. No, no Murcielago. Um, oh, was it an Aventador? No, 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 no. Uh, <laughs> I've put, put power on the spot it, now. It was Saramonda. It was a green one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the color I remember. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that was, uh, yeah. So why don't we run that clip in now? Ready for time? Alright, ready for race? In three, two, one. go! Hi, my name is Pau, and I'm the developer of Tilt the first 3D printed in carbon fiber quadcopter racer which has also dynamic tilting arm system which provides extremely fast accelerations higher top speed and improved aerodynamics the camera view is way better you don't look at the ground especially at high speed our dynamic tilting arm system is coded on clean flight and with a single channel potentiometer, you can quickly switch between dynamic tilting and fixed tilt. One of my dreams has been to fly a mini quad against a supercar. So thanks to the development of tilt, I've been able to realize this dream. All right, ready for 
parade. In three, two, one, go! So there you go guys, what a fantastic, uh, I don't think that's, I've ever ever seen an advert for a multi-rotor without maybe the massive budget that DJI have got look so cool. Um, props to you there pal for that, that was uh, something else. Uh, I'm guessing something that people are going to want to know is uh, what the availability is of the tilt, where they can get it, uh, recommended retail price. Um, could you maybe fill us in on on how people get their hands on one of these and um, the other details? Yeah, uh, right now the two resellers that we have are uh, the drone shop uh, in France and then a German reseller which is uh, selling also to UK, uh, um, yeah, uh, Netherlands and well, other areas uh, which is called uh, Flightbulk. Flyingfog.com, yeah. Yeah, that's the website, yeah. And um, the retail price um, actually they are um, is around uh, three hundred fifty dollar uh, depends on uh, on where you shop when you buy it obviously yeah uh, and I guess that the, the prices will go down um, but this is what uh, I know so far fantastic so around three hundred and fifty dollars. Um, what I'll do is below the video I'll put a list of the resellers up that are going to be selling the tilt uh, and then maybe if you can keep me up to date and I'll update that list as it grows um, and I'll also link to your website where I'm guessing people will be able to find the distributors yeah yeah tildrone.com will be open I mean will be of course uh, still online with the uh, resellers and distributors uh, names and so on and links the shop is going to be closed actually tomorrow or after tomorrow. Right, and that's so that it, so that the resellers can take over and start distributing for you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. um, have you got anything else in the pipeline? So one of the one of the things that uh, we wanted to do uh, with CleanFlight is to uh, to be able to, to to give the possibility to the user to really configure configure uh, certain things. So uh, the first thing that we were um, that we, we did is that uh, in, there is a new a, a new tab in the new Clean Flight 1.10 when it's going to be released. Yeah. Um, and as I said, right now we are in Google Chrome, uh, Google Store. Sorry, we uh, we have our own version of Clean Flight because that 1.10 with the till tab um, is not available yet. But when it will be available, we will. Yeah. Make yeah, this appear there. It, it will go. It will go back to clean. So yeah. the tap has uh, several parameters, and uh, one of the interesting ones is that after after uh, giving it to to experienced pilots here in Sweden, they said that um, both line line of sight and FPV, uh, the experience was uh, a bit uh, uh, strange not to be able to have the the feedback of the tilting uh, of the body. Oh right. So. Um, we said okay, so we could actually send uh, add a parameter so that people can actually uh, either disable completely any body tilt or allow or, or allow certain uh, certain uh, body tilt. So you you can actually configure how much uh, residual tilt body tilt as I call it yeah. uh, you have. That's very good to know if you're going forward, backwards, and so on. Another thing that is important is that uh, because of the of the tilting arms. Um, there is a uh, lot of thrust. Um, I mean, the quad goes down because the the thrust vector has yeah. a, a, a smaller vector vertical. Yeah. They want to build the arms, obviously. So there is another parameter where you can actually uh, compensate according to the to your uh, uh, all all up uh, weight. You can uh, set a certain percentage of thrust compensation. We call it. Yeah. That you really can fit flat. When you go full thrust, uh, I'm with you. Yeah. 
And then there is an, a third uh, a third parameter which is uh, very important, which is that uh, when you tilt the when you tilt the, the motors uh, more than 10, 15, or 20 degrees, it, this depends on the case, obviously. Yeah. Uh, the yaw and the roll start to be uh, mixed. So if you really uh, go, uh, if you if you apply just uh, a roll, if you have the, the arms tilted and you play roll, this roll uh, this roll uh, input will have a, a yaw. It will yaw, won't it? Yeah. And the more you tilt, the more, and in the in the limit in the radical or the, the at the end, if you have uh, the tilt tilt the 90 degrees, let's say. When you roll, you will yaw. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, we have to in this way. What we did is that uh, this is very important when you turn and you do coordinated turns. So we added also a, 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 an option that you can tick uh, uh, an option to compensate this this effect. So we know we calculate through the tilt angle of the ro of the rotors. We can actually uh, make some uh, calculations and uh, compensate the roll uh, your comp uh, interaction that we call. So these are things that are on clean flight on, on a special tab that we have introduced, and uh, we hope uh, well we hope not it will be in the 1.10 version coming uh, soon. Then yeah everyone will be uh, will uh, yeah. That's brilliant. It just shows you. I I thought about this tilting idea myself um, 18 months, two years ago. Yeah. But in my mind, it was very simple. But I'm guessing as there's a whole new tab with all this configuration possibility within it, mm. actually making a tilt motor multi-rosa isn't as easy as it seems, um, you know, but now it is now it's easier if someone wants to you do the the hardware part. Yeah. They can just use the clean flight, the new version, and then or the hours until the new is released, and they should be able to fly it uh, as well as uh, we do. So. Brilliant! Really looking forward to seeing it. I can't wait for Dominic to get his, <clears throat> so yeah. I can go down and have a look at one in the flesh. Yeah, right. we got the uh, out of stock very quickly, so we are. <laughs> We have had time to uh, to really be able to give away uh, this. We have to supply to the customers. Uh, absolutely, yeah, absolutely. I understand that one hundred percent. What is the availability? Just quickly before we go, you you know, are you on a second batch now or? Yeah, we are. Actually, we received a second batch of one hundred kits. Um, we put several uh, to to uh, to our shop. Uh, last week, actually, yeah, uh, we shipped. Uh, yeah, last Friday we shipped um, what we had until last week, obviously, and then. Um, but from these 100 kits, uh, 60, 70 percent uh, is for resellers. Yeah. Um, so that we can reduce the lead time for them, but um, the shop is still open until. Uh, yeah, um, one two days from now. Yeah. And then, um, yeah. Um, but we have uh, stopped now. Yeah. Fantastic. Um, so that's it. Thanks very much for taking the time to talk to me, Pal Mallow from uh, the designer of the Tilt Multi Rotor. If you're interested in finding out any more about this, there will be a bunch of links below the uh, below this video in the description. Pop over to Tilt Multi Rotor. Is it Tilt? What's the what's the email uh, the uh, the dot com? Is it tilt tiltdrone.com. Tiltdrone dot com. Pop over to tiltdrone dot com uh, and have a look on Pal's website. And is there an info at if anybody wants to ask questions? Yeah, I mean, uh, sorry, uh, the last thing. If, is is there is there like an information uh, email address? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Actually, yeah, that's another thing. I mean, I'm my Facebook chat is uh, yeah, <laughs> is overloaded. Um, I can be reached by uh, in Facebook. Yeah, uh, you can uh, just uh, PM me if you want, or otherwise, that is uh, uh, info at tildrone dot com. There you there go. go. There you go, guys. Um, Find Pal Malal on Facebook or send him an email to info at tiltdrone.com. 
I'm Matt yeah. Barnard for RCTV UK signing off. Bye for now. Thank you all for watching that episode. If you'd like more, maybe click on one of the video tabs up on the screen now. If you enjoyed the content, please give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. You can now make a donation by clicking on the link in the description box. If you could just make a tiny donation to the channel on a monthly basis by checking that box, you will be making my life a lot more bearable and you'll be securing the future of the channel. I'm Mount Barnard for RCTV UK. Bye for now. Hello and welcome to RCTV UK. In this episode, I will be smashing the out of a CC3D.